Everyone knows what the United States did in the 2019 OSU World Cup. 25 map wins in a row, not losing a single match in their tournament run. 37 to fucking 3. It's safe to say that this is the most dominant tournament performance in OSU history, and we won't see anything like this ever again. The United States performance in the 2019 OSU World Cup is an anomaly. It's proof that if you piss off a super team, they're going to seek revenge and go for blood while doing so. Everyone that stood in the United States way faced a fate worse than death, but they had it coming, as the United States came into the tournament with years of contained anger, thanks to an injury and several technical issues and what they described as a curse. 2017 had great promise for the United States in the OSU World Cup. They had just come off of back-to-back -back OWC wins in 2015 and 2016, and were looking to three-peat as champions. They would even have Vexe make his OWC debut. Considering his tournament track record right now, it would be a safe assumption to say that he would have made a huge impact on the tournament. The key word being would've. Unfortunately for the United States, Vaxe had suffered a hand injury that forced him to withdraw from the United States OWC roster prior to the tournament. Digital Hypno took his place, who is an amazing tournament player in his own right, but the US had to play in the tournament on a sour note knowing that their best prodigy was forced to the sidelines before making his debut. Despite Vaxe's injury, they breezed through the entire tournament. They had beaten every opponent they had faced and stormed to a 6-1 lead against Poland in winners finals. One more map win, and they would find themselves in the grand finals. Everything was looking good, and then it all fell to total shit. In one of the biggest collapses in Ozu tournament history, the United States lost the next six maps in a row to lose the match 7-6. Apraxia said that the United States were going through a lot of technical issues during the match. According to him, Itki's pen wasn't working properly and his cursor would freeze. Toy was dealing with power issues, and Apraxia himself was dealing with internet issues. The United States would get the run back against Poland in the Grand Finals. After winning the first match of Grand Finals 7-3, the technical issues would persist. The also tournament client couldn't stop lagging because of the internet issues that Apraxia had mentioned. Amidst all that, the second match of the Grand Finals saw Poland and the United States tied at 5-5. And that's when Apraxia's internet gave in. So we're having a little bit of lag from one or two of the players, hence the delays. Sorry about that. Apraxia ended up disconnecting in the middle of the pivotal map that would have put the winner at match point, and Poland ended up taking the map and a 6-5 lead. Poland would end up winning the match 7-5 and became the 2017 OSA World Cup champions. The United States were infuriated, for they had felt like they lost because injuries and technology had failed them at the worst time. But they had to can their anger for now, and had to wait for next year for the next OSU World Cup. Surely this wouldn't happen again. The United States got back on track the next year. Vaxe was finally able to make his OWC debut, and the United States made it to the Grand Finals without losing a single match. By this point, the United States was tired of playing in close Grand Finals matches in OWC. They had made it to the Grand Finals for the past three years in a row, and each of them had a bracket reset. They wanted to dominate the Grand Finals and win without dropping a match for the first time in team history. In the Grand Finals, they would face the United Kingdom, who the United States already beat in Winners Finals 7-5. And just like Winners Finals, the first match of Grand Finals was close and intense. The United States took a 5-4 lead and were about to make it 6-4, which would put them at match point. The tournament client froze two-thirds of the way through the map. After a few seconds, the client unfreezes, and we could see all players continue to play the map as normal. Except for Vaxe. His screen remained frozen. His computer blue screened. Sadly for the United States, under the rules, Vaxe's score would be disqualified since this counts as a disconnect. The map ends and the UK wins it. The entire US team is fucking pissed. Apraxia went on a full-out rant about how Vaxe's score should have counted. Icky mentioned his distaste of the curse of all the technical problems the United States faced in the Grand Finals each and every time. All four United States players in the lobby were pleading their case about how it was literally impossible to fail the spinner because it's HP3. It got so bad, Pepe had to step in and enforce the rules himself. And this was not the only thing that happened this match. After taking a 6-5 lead, the United States were on match point. Win one more map, and they would win the 2018 OSU World Cup right then and there. 
Of course, if Vaxi's score from the map he disconnected from had counted, the United States would have already won 7-4. But that was not the case. It was not over yet. Throughout the entirety of the 12th map, the United States had a small lead. They were going to do it. They were going to win the 2018 OSU World Cup despite all the shit they had to go through, but Bubble Man had other plans. The UK tied the match 6-6, winning the map by a mere 70 points thanks to his clutch performance. Bubble Man then put on an incredible performance in the tiebreaker, and the UK reset the bracket. For the fourth time in a row, the United States had to play two matches in the grand finals, and for the second time, were totally fucked over by technology issues. Thankfully for them, they ended up winning the second match of Grand Finals 7-4, the same score that they should have won by in match 1 if it weren't for technology issues. Vaxe and Apraxia earned their first OWC titles, and the United States won their third OSU World Cup in the last 4 years. The thing about winning is that it feels good, and that all the hardship you faced was worth it. Winning, no matter how you look at it, makes the winner feel happy. The United States were anything but happy about this OWC victory. They were furious. The United States took what happened in the 2018 World Cup Grand Finals and used it as motivation to accomplish their goals the next year. To destroy anyone they came across. Apraxia's words were as follows. We want to absolutely shit on everyone. We want to dominate. We want everyone to just die. We just want people to think they have no chance. We want the stream to be like so bored when they watch us because they can't do anything. They put in their extra effort to practice for the tournament, not because they wanted to win, but because they wanted to win in such a lopsided way they wanted to make the OSU World Cup, the most prestigious OSU tournament, boring. They wanted to not just win, but win in a way that destroys any hope their opponents might have had. They wanted to beat everyone so bad, it should be classified as murder. And you know what happens next. The United States won the 2019 OSU World Cup without losing a single match for the first time in team history. They got their revenge on the UK by sweeping them 7 to nothing in the winner's finals. They won their last 25 maps in a row to win the tournament. They won 37 maps and lost just 3. They forced those who watched the OSU World Cup stream to witness a live massacre each time they played. They made the OSU World Cup so lopsided, it was incredibly boring. They put on the most dominant tournament performance in OSU history, but the whole world had it coming, thanks to two years of bottled up fury. Firebat with a miss, digital hit now with the miss, Icky trying to get up there and negate Zays and flying to the Karuna are there. Is it Icky is holding up for dear life. It We're at the end of the map, the United States are going to take it over. away. Here they are, the 2019 World Cup champions. The United States of America, for the fourth time, will bring it home a spirited effort from South Korea in the dying seconds.